watching Greater Brockton. Mark Miller, your host, and I have a return visitor to Greater Brockton. I have Ray Yancey from Baywood. Welcome, Ray. Good to Welcome. see you. Yeah, thank you. Always a pleasure. So you got lots of hats over Baywood <laughs> yeah. these days. Yeah. Um, we we'll talk about um, YouthWorks first. Mm -hmm. YouthWorks is um, 16 to 24 right. age group. Right. What is new with YouthWorks? What are you guys well, up in or, or ongoing, I guess? Well, I guess it's more ongoing. You know, we still have all the uh, the work programs and job programs. Uh, they're in the midst now of uh, doing the second half of the year, what they call the year-round program. Uh, they'll be starting training probably in another couple of weeks for this next round. And then after that will come the summer job program. Mm -hmm. And uh, that obviously has more kids, there's more jobs available. Uh, this is kind of limited to about 20, 20 young people right now. But I think the uh, summer has opened up where in the past we've had as many as 200 mm. young people for the summer job program. So so you said it's starting soon. Is, is, it, is, it, is it full with the 20 kids? Uh, yeah, I, I just found out yesterday, as a matter of fact, that they have their max in okay. applications. But they're still taking applications because kids don't show up sometimes. Right, right. Things change, so somebody drops out so they can go to the other list and pull some kids up. So, so where know. are some of the places? I know the mayor's office in the past has hosted yeah, kids they've, from... Yeah, they've done it, the, the park programs, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, then we have a lot of, uh, you know, private businesses as well, you know, office work. Uh, we had uh, young people working at... Uh, uh, B-21, mm -hmm. uh, they were doing work up at Campanelli Stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's, you know, there's a number, number of uh, employers around the city. You know, we try to get it more private uh, industry people. So how does involved. it work with, you know, the, is there a match with the employer and BayWeb? Do you guys pay part, the, the whole bill, yeah. part of the bill? How does it work? Well, we have some, uh, usually if it's a profit, for-profit company, mm -hmm. uh, they would pay 100%. I mean, I'm sorry, they would pay 50% yeah. of the salary. Nonprofits, we pay 100% of mm. the salary. And when do the, the, the kids work, like after school? Yeah, it's usually after school, Saturdays, Sundays, depending upon where they're working, what the schedules are. Mm -hmm. It's a total of about 125 hours mm -hmm. uh, that they can work, and six weeks or less, depending upon how many hours a week they're doing. Now, um, high school kids, yeah, college I, kids, because it's 16 to 24, 24 that, right. that runs the gamut. Like, right. I teach at Massasoit, so there's a lot of yeah. kids that would be eligible exactly. at Massasoit. Yeah. Do, do they have to be a graduate? No, uh, no. Cause so we, if somebody dropped out, could they participate? We take dropouts out of, you know, kids that already graduated, but they're not in college. Yeah. And it's not just, you know, if they don't qualify for some reason for the program, yeah, they don't get turned away. You know, we still work with them. We'll help them try to find some educational services. Right. Uh, we'll help them build their resumes. Mm -hmm. You know, so we still work with them right along. It's not like, oh, you're out, go out the door. Because GEDs change quite a bit. I don't even know if it's called yeah. GED. Yeah, I, it, it went from GED to high set. Now I understand it's going back to GED. So I, I you know, it's right now. You'll learn and tell me. Yeah, I'll let you know as soon okay. as I find out. You know. So besides the youth works and yep. the youth jobs, and we'll, we'll get you back here to talk about summer jobs when there are openings, because right, 200 right. is a lot different yeah, than 20. Exactly. But you have an academy for health care training. That, yes. That, that's fairly new, isn't that's it? That's new. Okay. Yeah. Uh, through uh, the Academy for Health Care, uh, we're doing a CNA uh, training class. It's 122 hours. Uh, it's about, uh, give or take, five weeks. And they do, uh, I think it's 24 hours of training, uh, clinical training, mm -hmm. that they do. It. They're going to do at Bay Point. And, okay. uh, yeah, they have a certified nurse come in, and she does the teaching. Uh, the, once this program is over, they will get their certification, mm. you know. And, uh, obviously, uh, we'll, we'll be helping them with trying to find employment. And it says in here uh, there's Red Cross 
yeah. CPR, right. his Alzheimer certification. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't tell you how important a CNA is. My dad yeah. is, is is ninety. And right. He's dealt we've dealt with some CNAs for the past couple of years. He's in an assisted living, mm -hmm. but you also need the that extra help. Yeah, exactly. You know, make sure they're exactly. eating. Right. You know, make sure the wounds are dry. And, yeah. and the more training they have, the and this is a training yeah. that isn't for profit. It's, right. it's a training that. Uh, is truly nonprofit because you guys are allied with government. Exactly. And it makes sense to do that versus going to, you know, you see all these ads on TV for all these places that charge off. Mm hmm Pack load of money for it. Right. What it what it so what does it cost? Bay Whip is paying for it. Well, there you go. So yeah, that's the best part. And I gotta tell you something, CNAs are some of the nicest, most caring people in the uh, world. Different languages. Uh, right. My my dad's native language was Spanish. Oh, okay. So he can talk to all of them. Yeah, he can they love him because sure. he still tries to be a charmer at night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So also you guys have uh, something, uh, a partnership with Parker yeah, with Tractor, Parker, tractor Training? Trailer, yeah. Okay. We, uh, uh, we have a number, number of men or uh, and women. There's some women in the classes too, and they're studying for their uh, CDLA and B, mm -hmm. and then get their bus driver certification as well. Uh, there are a few slots open for that right now, but they're going fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to go on after this course finishes. If they'll be doing another one, more than likely they will. Uh, but you know, right now it's it's almost done with that, and uh, so those, those people, a lot of them have already graduated and got jobs already, uh, okay. you know, with this CDL. So that that's a good thing. So before I forget and yeah. run out of time, phone number, website, whatever you want to give us yeah. for information. Yeah, uh, I obviously BayWeb is uh, 508-584-3234. and then CareerWorks. Uh, it's 508-513-3406. Uh, either one, they'll connect you with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, because CareerWorks is just as important as BayWeb. We're all in the same building, right. as you know. And you guys own the building And now. we own the building now. So, yeah. uh, you know, you come into CareerWorks. Uh, they got counselors there that are going to help you. They're going to work with you. What number school street? Uh, 34. 34. Yeah. Okay. I'm used to 45 for City Hall, but 34, yeah, 34 is right across, across the, street. the street. Right. And, and lastly, you've got something handwritten on here about welding and yep. hoisting. So we are, we're looking into uh, starting a welding classes. Uh, we're looking at Southeastern. Uh, we, we've talked to them uh, to see if we can get involved in their welding and, and build it up even more. Uh, and also, we're looking around for some hoisting schools. So you can get certified in, you know, bulldozers, yeah. uh, fork trucks, uh, bobcats, all those things, you know. So we have a lot of things going on, and, you know, we're, we're just trying to build it up. Yeah. Make, make that the place where people come to find a job. But the one thing I want to say is, you know, unfortunately, people come in, and they think that we have jobs sitting there with their name on it. They got to? They got to apply for them. Apply for them. They got to apply themselves to the employment. Okay, you know? I'm bringing you back for a whole show. Yeah, we can talk about, <laughs> all, can that. Talk about okay. all of that. Thanks, right. Ray. Thanks for coming. Thank on. you for Appreciate having it. me. Appreciate okay, it. always a pleasure. All right. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champions.